14. But during the transition phase, early in their Division I career, is a fly ball to left and deep going back as Jack Stronach at the wall. It is gone, and Omaha has the lead. Third of the season, Braden Eckhout, and it's 1-0 Omaha. Well, we talked about Ryan Garcia, Rocks. He likes to throw a lot of two-strike balls up in the zone. And unfortunately for him, Eckhout said, I can hit that pitch. And just like that, he puts Omaha up on the road against the number one team in the country and the number one seed. Fifth home run. It's a, a really remarkable feat because we, you know, we play indoors and in the winter. So we're taking ground balls off gym floors and, and all those anywhere we can find it so um, to be able to do that consistently throughout the season these guys have just been runner goes hit and run is on ground ball to short backhanded from Weedy locked on a first pulling the first baseman Rogers off the bat and UCLA is two on for Noah Cardenas Well, that's exactly what the Bruins did, Roxy. They put the runner in motion, and Idens can absolutely fly. And Crumweedy at shortstop, I mean, he did all he could to get to that ball. But you're not, if you don't like the pitch, and he says, I have the uh, freedom to wipe, and he just wiped. 2-2 Two -two is a high chop to third. Back it up. Juggled, no play. Eckhout going back on the ball, and Braden Eckhout couldn't get a handle on it in his glove. And UCLA has loaded the bases here with one out for Matt McClain. Well, it's interesting. Eckhart was playing kind of shallow at third base in this situation, Rocks. And you see him right here. He does well to get his glove on it. But once he loses his footing, just like that, the Bruins backs first round draft pick from last June. Turned him down to go to UCLA. And the freshman at the plate here with the bases loaded down one nothing in the fifth. The pitch. McLean swings and a fly ball. This will score the run. It'll stay in the ballpark. And the left fielder Lombardi makes the catch. The runners tag. And they all move up. And we are tied on a sack fly for Matt McLean. What's well, a good job by the freshman McLean? First pitch is an elevated fastball and hits the sack fly, but how about the base running by the Bruins? We talked about now with a base hit to take a two-run lead. Garrett Mitchell 0 for 2. Peyton Kinney's pitch, line to right, and a base hit for Mitchell. One run is in. Cardenas trying to score. The throw is offline from Polensky, and a three-run bottom of the fifth for UCLA. Garrett Mitchell, a two-run single. Well, Garrett Mitchell had, been, had trouble with the off-speed stuff from Kenny. Kenny elects to start him with a fastball, and Garrett doesn't miss it. And just like that, we talked about it. If you give this Bruins club an opportunity, they take advantage of it. But I go back to the previous sack fly. Jeremy Idens at second base. But it all started by Idens tagging up, and a great job by Cardenas at first. If you're the trailing runner, watch the runner in front, what he does, and just because of that, the Bruins are up two runs. Mitchell running, Kreidler a fly ball out towards center. DeBonville is there, makes the catch with a dip. Opponents hit just 158 against him, and that one ate up McLean at third, skips out in the left field, and Omaha has two on. Braden Rogers moves up to second, and Eckout is on. That ball was hit sharply on the ground, a sizzling grounder that kicked up and off the glove of McLean into left. We're going to get a look at it. It's the same fastball up in the zone, and that's actually, for me, that's just a, a, a bad hop. And it's not down in the zone. It's been up, and that's where he's been successful the entire year. The only problem with that pitch, when you start messing around up there and hitters start making adjustments, like Eckhout did last time when he left the yard, 
I mean, you can end up with a 3-1 bomb in a second. Rodgers at second. Eck out at first. The pitch. There's a ground ball to second. Could be two. Strump to Kreidler. The turn on the first. Two. Double play. Taylor made for Garcia. Nicely turned by Kreidler at the back. We're talking about somebody who came back from an arm injury as well. And he walked him. And that right there, Roxy, for me, is a sign that he's starting to get fatigue. Now, keep in mind, you've talked about how, how much Kenny threw. Normally, when you face a team in college, there's going to be spots in the lineup that you face if you're Omaha, where, and in this case, Kenny, that you can breathe a little bit. Not with this Bruins lineup. I mean, we talk about the senior, Jake Priest. He can leave the yard in a second. 1-0 pitch, runner goes, hit and run, and Priest out toward right center. This is going to roll for a while. Coming all the way around, Chase Trump will score from first base. Jake Priest, an RBI double to right center, 4-1 UCLA. Well, this is the second hit and run, Roxy, that the Bruins have executed perfectly. The first one was Jeremy Idens. What happened in that inning? The Bruins scored three runs. Here's the next hit and run by Prees to right center. And just like that, the Bruins have extended their lead. We'll get another a better look at it right here. As a hitter, you're trying to hit the ball the other way normally on the ground somewhere. He ends up on second with a double. The hitters, also Bryant Ward, who is intimately involved in the offensive game as well. Curve is lined to right off the bat of Stronic. And this one gets to the fence. Here comes Jake Priest. Back-to-back -back RBI doubles. The throw gets away. But staying at second base is Stronic, and it's 5-1 to one Bruins. Well, this is a curveball, and it's up in the zone. Watch where it ends up. It's a curveball up in the zone, and Stronick, who has been instrumental in this Bruins offense this year, knocks in the Bruins' fifth run. And, you know, again, you've talked about Kenny and how much he's thrown run. Strong baseball background of the Polensky family as he lines one out toward deep left center field. Clunk into the alleyway. This will get to the fence. Ben Polensky pulls into second base and a double and a second hit for Omaha tonight and Polensky a one out double is at second base for the Mavericks trying to get something going here and for Ben Polensky is 13 double which is second on the squad. Well it's an elevated fastball where Garcia likes to elevate it and it's just a good adjustment by Polensky who ends up assistant coach Jim Polensky. Bonar. Sends one in the air, shallow left, coming over and in, it drops in front of uh, Jack Stronick out there. But having to hold up and make sure the ball was going to get down, Polensky had to hold. He stays at second base, and that's a single to left for Bonar, and Omaha has two on with one out, and Thomas DeBonville coming up. Well, it's a good job by Polensky at second base for many reasons. Why? You're chasing four runs. You can ill afford to make a mistake on the bases, but you can see, when you see Stronach come over, Polinsky, watch him, he's going to turn around, look at the ball, fundamentally sound. He's not sure that Stronach's going to catch it, but when you're down four runs, safe, you'd rather be safe right there and just come back and first he, in his mind, swinging a high fly ball to Bonville to left with room. Jack Stronach camps under it. And the runners have to go back two away. But to finish the point mentally in his mind, one and two the count. Two on, two out the pitch. Got it. Struck him out. Garcia with the strikeout. Stretch time in L.A. 5-1 Bruin. He is 0 for 3. Ryan Garcia, the one strike pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Diving stop. Matt McClain to his feet. And the throw gets past Michael Tolley at first base. And Parker Smeckle ends up at second. Leoff base runner for Omaha here in the ninth. We talked about McLean, who played center field earlier in the season, Roxy, but he played shortstop in high school, and this will tell you why. I mean, makes a great play. Just a bad throw over to Tolia. 
flanking right next to the head coach. 3-2. Hit left back up the middle. Line drive for a single by Brett Bono. Around third. Parker Smeckle comes home and it's 5-2 UCLA. Brett Bonard with his second hit tonight. That solid line drive. And he drives in a run. And on him. 3-1 pitch. Popped up. Left side. Matt McClain crossing into foul ground. And UCLA has won. 5-2 taking. This opening round matchup in the Los Angeles Regional from the Summit League champs, the Mavs from Omaha, in a well-pitched ball game.